Leo, Leo. Good morning. I hope you guys are doing well. Let me move over here closer to the mic, Leo. Let me try to see if I can turn it. There we go. Leo, happy September. So finally, this is going to be your bone curio reading. You know how we do this. We're going to start with the bones and the charms first. Um, and then we're going to move into the tarot. And then we are going to conclude with the Life Coach Oracle to kind of give us some guidance to navigate the messages, especially if they're hard messages. Now, um, I actually learned how to read bones from one of my favorite Leos, Mama Star. She gave a class. We were in um, Missouri um, and she did a class and then she had her bones set on her natural uh, animal pelt. And I was like, oh, I need to get Millie. Stop ripping up whatever you're ripping up. I had to get me an animal pelt. Um, and I actually found one with a star, y'all. Look. And then later I was able to find her one with a star. So that's a little bit of the history with the bones. I was scared to read them for a long time. And I still, I need to add more bones or incorporate more into the readings. Um, I keep buying charms, but I really connected later. It wasn't immediate. <laughs> it definitely was not immediate. And I'm still feeling like I got to learn. I'm still learning. And I think unfortunately or fortunately, we never stop learning, right? So Leo, this is your reading before I ramble on and on and on this morning. I had some coffee, so I'm kind of hyped. Leo, Leo, Leo for September. What do we have going on? Leo. Let's see. Let's go ahead and close them out. Leo. Let's turn some of these cards. We got some stuff going on in the health. We have the gun. So some of y'all have to be very careful with your health. Um, for some of you, definitely with your heart. And then we have some joint pain, possibly some arthritis, maybe a little bit of inflammation. Um, you might want to add some ginger or turmeric. Is it turmeric or turmeric? I always hear people pronounce it both ways, but I always say turmeric. I've been doing it a lot for my um, arthritis in my knees, and it definitely has been helping me. So for some of you, you might be incorporating this in. Um, some of you may be teaching, thinking about going back to school in your money sector. There is a new job that is coming in, crossing over into your family or your home or your money. I'm sorry, family and, home and money. Ugh. Let me get it right this morning. Um, your purse is in the upright. You have clouds near your center and your money is upside down there, but it's on top of the manifestation hat. So it's almost like I'm manifesting some money. So some of y'all might be having some issues with finances, <clears throat> excuse me, right now that are going to improve slowly. But I think spirit is saying, um, watch your spending because we definitely have some places where there's money loss or money slowed down, but the big carry shell is showing opportunity for money to come back up. So it might be a lean month um, for some of you. You might even be coming out of this energy and then your money is gonna get better. I feel like moving towards the holidays and going towards 2025, y'all are gonna see an increase in your money. But right now, there may be some health issues that are coming in. Some of you, there's a move and you could be trying to save up and it's like, okay, I need to uh, put my money to the side. So it may not be that money is, you know, being spent frivolously. It could be that I'm saving because I need to go ahead and uh, move. I will say spirit is really on top of your budget, Leos. Some of y'all, did the candle blow out? Oh, it did. Oh, it put up the good fight. Um, some of y'all, uh, be careful of, unnecessary spending because it's kind of like I want it but I don't need it type of energy um, because it looks like that you may have something that's coming in with a home possibly a home repair or something that you have to deal with and it might be minor 
definitely might be mine or some of you might also have an issue with a pet that's coming in and you might need to take care of it um for a few of you there's renovations that are coming in it's like i'm getting ready to renovate my house because we have the butterfly transformation um and there's delays on it it could be that the money is not where i need it to be so i'm gonna kind of slow down on that um but i do like i said i feel like money is going to come back in let's see let's look at the bad spell work all right some of you are feeling definitely tired overwhelmed burdened um we have walking away from a situation and then the sword is there let's see i feel like that there is some type of energy of stagnation almost like something that's slowing down or it could be that a few of you you know you might be feeling like the weight of the world is on your shoulders maybe you have a lot of responsibility this month um this could have been a year where you felt like you had a lot of responsibility i will say that it looks like that you're gonna cut that energy away um because i see the legs kind of folded up and this person is laying to their side and they're down it could be that i'm tired um i got way too much going on for some of you, it could be that you're trying to go to work. You're trying to go to school. We have school. We have new job. Now, this could be getting a new job where you're being trained or you're having to learn something for this job. I do see some travel coming in for you guys. Um, so it could be that, one, there's going to be some travel or there is a lot of travel that's coming in. Um, and sometimes, that, you know, it makes you tired or exhausts you. So I will say take care of yourself. There is some stress that's coming in. We got the bullet casing and it's about conversation and we have a claw there. So some of you, let's see what's under it. Nine of Pentacles. This could be about money. You might have some uncomfortable conversations this month about money that stress you out. Could be arguments about money too. Um, let me see. Yeah, some of y'all with a busy bee could be working yourself really, really hard for some money. And then um, there may be having to pay something or somebody owing you something it does kind of come in towards your house. So it could be that you're um, trying to stay on top of your rent or you're trying to stay on top of your responsibilities. And like I say, there could be a home repair, there could be remodeling, there could be a sick animal. So... Um, Try not to work yourself too much, Leo. I know that's almost like saying don't drink water for some of y'all, but I feel like that some of you need to recuperate. Um, you might be pushing yourself a little bit too hard. We got a lot of messages coming from the other side. Um, some of you, this could be medium shift that's opening up. I feel like that there's more than one person that's talking to you. Um, ancestors are over here. They're upside down. Now they're telling you to look at something. Oh, all right. Look, the eye, evil eye energy. So some of you, the ancestors are talking to you and they're telling you, you need to be cautious. You need to be careful of some people that you're dealing with. You might not be thinking that these people are a problem, but it looks like that they are. And it is people. Now there's a devil over here hiding. Um, and I see, let's see, what do we have? Four of cups. We have something coming in with teaching or learning something. And then the double, the moon is underneath it, which is down now. So you have somebody that is trying to hide something from you. Um, and I'm not sure if they're connected to these people. Because I feel like that there's some type of go between where there's some gossip or some issues that are coming in with this devil and then this evil eye energy now. We do have demon head over here and the arrow is pointing towards love. Could be somebody that you're close to, could be somebody you're in a relationship with, could be a, a really close friend, but we have the mask. And this is somebody is wearing a false face. So be really careful. The demon is over here by the cross. This could have to deal with your spirituality or your religion. Um, but the doctor bag is right it's leaning on the demon head. Somebody I think is mentally ill or either there's some type of, um, cause we have the demon 
Dr. Bag, Evil Eye Energy, Devil, Evil Eye Energy. So there's something that's going on. Some of y'all have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, maybe seven people around you that are causing some type of issue. Or either this is two people that are trying to instigate with some other people to cause problems for you. I don't know why, Leo. I just really, I, maybe because you're, you're the lion and you roar and people just want to kind of see if they can test your gangster. I don't know. I don't know why y'all always have problems with people. Um, the thing about it is it doesn't look like you instigated it. I, I know some Leos that instigate, but some of y'all, I think y'all are just living y'all best life trying to pay y'all bills and you got all this coming over here and it's in your luck sector, but it's almost like something trying to mess your luck up, trying to cause problems with your luck. For some of you with the cross there, it's definitely connecting to your spirituality or your religious belief, which could be an organization, a church or a spiritual family that you're dealing with. If this is a spiritual community, you got some people in that spiritual community that aren't being very spiritual. Um, the hip joint is there, and this is kind of like maybe being a little bit flexible in that energy. You might even know that these people are full of shit, but you're kind of pivoting away. It's not like, oh, I'm, you're making a big deal out of it. It's like, okay, I can't make it to that event today. And they're like, why not? And it's like, oh, I got to go to work. Or I got to take a class. So it's almost like you're not trying to cause problems. It's almost like you're just rotating around this energy. Some of you, I think this probably is a spiritual community just because it doesn't look like you're walking away from it. You're just kind of rotating, um, when you feel uncomfortable with it and you have some people that are definitely trying to make it uncomfortable. And then we got evil, uh, not the evil eye, but the moon in reverse, which is things being hidden. Vertebrae is right here on the handcuffs. So for a few of you, and the handcuffs are on the mermaid, could be a water energy. You might be water energy. You might have water spirits that walk with you. But we have somebody that is trying to handcuff the mermaid. Now, if this represents you, you have water in your chart. We definitely have the vertebrae, and this is standing your ground. Your crown is upside down, though. So it could be that somebody, and it's coming into family, this could be people that you work with. This could be your actual family. This could be biological, adoptive, even spiritual. You have some people that are someone that is trying to um, bind or keep you stagnant. Now, I don't feel like it's going to work because it looks like there's some growth that's coming in for you guys. But it may be that some of you are going to have to look at the company that you keep the people that you are working with, some of you, even the organizations that you are a part of. And sometimes it happens like that. I remember when I first, I don't want to say when I first came into the spiritual community, but I think when I started getting, um, like you have that moment where you get this hunger of, I want to learn. I want to connect with like-minded people. I want to find my soul group. So I was joining a lot of groups online and, you know, just trying to pick up some knowledge. And when I tell you some of these groups got like cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs, like crazy. And I was like, what the fuck? So I was like, okay, let me remove myself from this group. And it ended up, I think I was in four or five groups. Um, I ended up removing myself from all of them because I didn't like the way that they were moving. Even with initiations, um, I left the house because I didn't feel comfortable with the way that they were moving with the stuff that they were doing. Um, and that could be why you're pivoting. Some of you may have decided I'm not leaving or walking away yet. And it could be that this is your journey, but I do feel like be careful of the people that you keep. Now we have the little skeleton hand and this is somebody trying to take from you. And what are they trying to take? We'll see. Nine of wands is defending yourself possibly defending your reputation. Somebody could be trying to gossip or make you look crazy. If this is not spiritual, this could be a job where it's like, okay, I have to defend myself in this situation. I feel like the spirit is telling you to kind of just pay attention to some things that are going on. You got money coming in. I see messages about money. If you've been waiting for something to open up, I feel like that it's about to open up especially before the year is out. I get a lot of networking that brings in money. 
we have the contract or the ring in the middle some of y'all might be uh, signing some type of contract making some type of commitment to something let's see i do see your manifestation hat in the upright some of you are going to be collabing with another um with a with a person or a female that is helping you manifest something that you want um there's a lot of spirit communication so pay attention to your dreams pay attention to your intuition let's see why wow, we have clouds money in the upright here mojo money hand the handcuffs could be too close to that be careful of family um that could be coming in and tying up your money could be somebody borrowing your money we have a new job that's coming in your anchor is flipped over which means there's something stop chewing whatever that is over there Millie I know that's you I hold, hold up y'all what are you over here I hear you ripping something stop I don't know why every time I do the Leo reading uh, Millie shows out for y'all and bad I don't know if y'all can hear it but she is over there ripping a piece of cardboard like she is a lion y'all Oh, these cats, these cats. How did I become the crazy cat lady? I don't know. But here we are. So I digress. Your anchor is here, but I feel like that the stability is not exactly what you want yet. But it is coming because the purse is in the upright. Mojo money hand is there. If somebody is trying to stop your money, it's a temporary thing. Vertebrae is showing you standing your ground. Money is coming in. Networking with people. Um, some of you, if you are self-employed, it looks like that there's bullet casings on it for right now, which means that you might be having some problem with your business, but it is showing that you're going to get back on track with it. There is travel that's coming in for some of you, and it could be a different city, different state, different country could be coming in in three days, three weeks, three months, but something is definitely changing. Spirit is showing with the button. You got some eyes on you. You're being watched. Hopefully it's not in a negative way, but for some of you, we got trickster energy in love. So be really careful. Be really careful about somebody who's coming in and they're telling you, oh, I love you. I adore you. Um, you know, keep your eye on their hands because I feel like that somebody might be trying to play games. Um, and sometimes with this dating thing at this point, you know, it could be trashy. Um, I'm not going to say that they're a bad person, but it could be that this person is so used to playing games that they're coming in with that energy. Um, and you might need to correct them. Let's see. We do have luck coming in with family. Some of you might be going into business with a family member. I am getting King of Pentacles towards Capricorn Virgo. Um, we have some emotions coming in with this person. Something is opening up though. Um, so there could be getting a new home. This could be a new beginning. I feel like that there's something with luck that's changing. Some of you, there's some dental work that's going to be coming in for you. We do get some jealousy within the family because we have evil eyes. So some of you, there is some jealousy. And I mean, like this, I said, this could be your biological, your adopted people that you work with spiritual uh groups that you are involved in but there is some jealousy it looks like because your luck is changing around which is interesting because all of this is on your luck all this chaos over here is on your luck so somebody could have been trying to block that or cause problems but some of y'all were born lucky your lucky charm i feel like that there is going to be some type of resurgence of love and family so if you were side eyeing somebody because you're like i don't feel the same way i used to feel about you or i'm not sure i want to call you you know my sister or my brother it looks like there's a resurgence of love after something that has emotions some of you you have a male that's coming to visit you or you're going to visit a male there could be a transformation with a male some of you could be traveling out to get some trans, um, what would you call, um, I don't want to offend, 
uh y'all it is right on the tip of my tongue gender assignment surgery i think is what it would be correct me if i'm wrong please don't be offended you know please excuse my ignorance but i think that's what i'm trying to say let me just google real quick y'all when in doubt google because I, I i'm feeling like somebody is traveling out let's see gender assignment gender affirming surgery let's see what that is ah okay gender affirming surgery i don't know i feel like something because the butterfly is there and then i see um some type of major change that's coming in it's almost like somebody flips flops into something different if this is not you you might have somebody that is going through this or anticipating this i am seeing best friends in your home so there may be some type of like i say resurgence of a relationship that gets closer or there's a bond that comes in with that relationship some of you with the dog and the best friend could have a friend that is moving in with you or somebody that is um becoming a roommate um i feel like somebody might even be getting engaged or getting married and it might be like this best friend type of energy or soulmate type of energy okay all right let's look at the cards because i am curious now to see what is going on you got a lot of things that are changing um for you so i feel like some of y'all are walking into 2025 like completely different than what 2024 started with and i know typically that's the way it's supposed to be at the end of the year like there's supposed to be some growth but i think that some of y'all i don't know you might have started out 2024 as a female and ended as a male i mean like like for some you know making a big decision like that um or it could have been that you were single at the 2024 at the beginning and now you're about to be married there's some major life change that's coming in some of you you got something with a couple of clouds that were turned upside down and that could be procrastination or delays it goes back to your family so if you keep feeling like you're stuck you need to go to therapy and deal with family issues leo 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 I feel like that's where the money, the budget thing is too for some of you. You might have grew up poor. And so it's like I need to either manage my money. Some of y'all might be saving um, um, fanatically or either you're spending um, unnecessarily. And it goes back to something with poverty, being afraid of being poor. All right. Leo, Leo, Leo spirit. Leo, hold up. They're not merging in the way that I want them to. One more time, spirit. There may be some confusion coming in for some of you, though. Leo. Let's get that. All right. There we go. Let's see what we have, Leo. Ten of swords in reverse. Letting go of burdens it's almost like being free for, from something it's like i gotta let it go i gotta move on um and but you're tired so there may even be like i'm walking away from something or i'm not pouring my energy into it anymore because i'm exhausted i'm tired i don't want to do it anymore whatever it is it feels like the weight has been lifted off your shoulders and for some of you i feel like you've been waiting to take it off so this could be anything. This could be with work. This could be with family. This could be with friends. Judgment in the upright. Awakening. Rebirth. New perspective. Mm-hmm. See what... And I knew it. You're not going to be the same. Awakening. Rebirth. Who else had that? Somebody had... Hold up. 
somebody had they had to die so that they could be reborn let me go back and look da, 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 da. taurus and we did and we did see taurus uh, earth sign in your charts there may be some something that happens ten of cups in reverse family quarrels stress relationships and we saw that we saw some issue up here we also saw all that congestion where it looks like there was some gossip there was some other stuff that was coming in i said up to seven people some of you there may be some family problem that's coming in and that you're being pulled into it and you don't want to basically i'm overwhelmed i don't want to do this awakening new perspective i'm seeing things the way that i need to see them clearly but there may have been some type of argument there's some issues with a family or family dynamic and it's basically like i don't want to be a part of it i'm not trying to get into it deception the moon moon was upside down somebody's lying somebody's not um they're manipulating and i think that y'all saw it or you will see it and it's like i don't want to be a part of this so all that demon head the devil head the evil eye energy for some of y'all could be family could be friends could be a group that you belong to deception is there manipulation is there and it's like i don't want to be yep let's see deception hangman upright restriction letting go not wanting to be um bound to this not wanting to be having somebody restrict you by their actions or what they're trying to do it's like i'm out fool card in the upright new beginning free spirit i ain't nobody's bitch <laughs> that's probably what y'all telling them like nah i don't want this something that maybe you were in family organization job something was draining you it was making you feel overwhelmed you looked at something clearly and it's like i don't like the way that this is going i don't like the way this is moving deception is there so it's almost like some of y'all may have heard something seen something and typically you know once you see things you can't unsee it so it may be this energy of mm, yeah no i don't want to move forward and then it looks like too something was holding you back restrictions were there so it could have been that maybe you signed a contract with something um and you had to wait for the contract to be up before you could move forward and then we have a new beginning for some of you it could have been just financial um hardships too because i feel like something is going on with money or it, or either it causes something um being overwhelmed maybe having to you know move in so many different directions and it's from your family y'all got to be really careful that your family doesn't do you in because it's showing that they're not being completely honest with you with some of the things that they're putting on you and i think some of y'all figured it out like y'all are putting this on my shoulders when i don't even need to be carrying this all right let's see so we have this new beginning and why we have the knight of swords and we have um something with competition something with somebody criticizing could be a person that's younger than you egotistical somebody that is in their ego um could be a child you know you're supposed to pay my rent you're supposed to pay my car note you're supposed to feed me you're supposed to put a roof over my head um this also could be somebody where you're telling them like you know i feel burdened i feel heavy and this person is like you know well get you know man up you know uh do whatever you need to do somebody egotistical but the, the, it's an immaturity on top of it it's an immaturity so i guess somebody who can be very impulsive i don't feel like too that this person always thinks the right way so if they're not mentally unstable it could be that they're just immature and they're very impulsive um there's an aggressiveness about this person 
So it's almost like you have an argument with somebody and they say something um, that they know it's going to hurt your feelings and they don't care about it. Um, and then when you call them out on it, it's almost like, well, I didn't mean to say that. It was just the, the spur of the moment or whatever. No, it, it's really not. This person is competitive. They're aggressive and they're in their ego. So let's see why you're moving. And that could be why you're moving away from it. All right, let's see. Let's get it. Queen of Swords energy. This is um, somebody who's cold hearted cruel goodness you could be dealing with libra gemini aquarius energy um some of you this could be a child or somebody who's childish and it's just like and i think did we see this last time leo i get confused sometimes because i know y'all always have a person that shows up and i i used to think it was the same person and i don't think it's that way now i think that y'all are, are attracting um, certain people to you, for some of you, you, some of y'all are attracting certain energies. Maybe you're an empath, maybe you're a father figure or a mother figure, or you're a nurturer and you're picking up broken people or people that really need to get their shit together. You got to be really careful, um, that you're not putting yourself in a position where you're picking up strays that are draining you. Cause some of you, I feel like you are, and this could be social media, this could be people that are in your energy, but I do feel like some of y'all are moving away from somebody who is just very aggressive. They're competitive with you. Um, if this is a child, this is like, they're pushing boundaries. If this is a coworker, this is somebody that's like, I can do the job better than you. And it's almost like they're squaring up. If this is, um, a relationship, this could be somebody that is, you know, they talk down on you. Um, and it's because they're trying to compete. It's not a relationship relationship. They're trying to compete. Something is off. All right. For absorbed, some of you, it's like, I don't have the energy for this. This is, I need to recuperate. This is, I need to rest. I need to distress. I don't want to do this with you anymore. I don't want to pour energy into you or whatever this is. If this is a job, I don't want to pour energy into this. I'm tired. Yeah. Yeah. Nine of Wands, putting barriers up. Leave me alone. This is the line. Don't cross the line. Let's get something straight. Some of you are hesitant on it, though. You're hesitant. Um, and maybe you just don't want a problem with this person. I'm wondering if this is somebody who throws a tantrum because I get this delay or procrastination um, with this energy. And some of you, you're you're turning your energy somewhere else, um, because you don't want to deal with this. So this could be, okay, I, I'm going to shop. I don't know how to deal with this energy. So I'm just going to buy a lot of things or, you know, almost like you're, you're filling something in comfort food, comfort shopping. Be careful that you are not doing yourself in like that because you got to deal with this. And it's interesting because you're Leo some of y'all should just be setting their ass on fire and walking on. But I wonder why. Maybe, like I said, this could be family. And it maybe that's why you can't do that. We have a queen of cups. And we have somebody who's very needy. Um, But they're envious. So we're dealing with somebody who is egotistical. They're competitive and aggressive. But they're needy. They can get jealous of things that you do. They can get jealous of people around you. There's a vengeance to them too. So now that makes sense why you're taking your time putting up barriers because this person is somebody that's like, I'm going to get you back or I'm going to do something to make you, you know, uncomfortable because you made me uncomfortable. Who the hell are y'all dealing with? Leo, good Lord. Why? I feel like with the four of wands, we have recognition, praise. So we have the queen of cups in reverse, needy, jealous, vengeful. Um, and then we have the four of wands and it's like, pay attention to me, recognize me, see me. Um, this person wants victory in whatever this competition is. It's like, I want to be the one that's seen 
or I want to be the one that is at the head. This is interesting. Even though we have a wands card and I feel like this is some type of conflict. Three of wands, leadership, financial support, goals, being focused. For some of you, I feel like that you're, you're turning away from this energy. It's because I want to move in a different direction. This person is distracting me or this energy is distracting me. King of wands, leadership, and you are. You are going to walk away from whatever this energy is. It's like I don't have time to give it to you. Yeah. There's something where I feel like that somebody is trying to get your attention. They could be draining you. The chariot is showing that you are moving on. And I think there was maybe a hesitation about it at first. But I think that somebody started pulling on your energy way too much. The rebirth is what started it. It's like, I don't want to do this. We got something coming over here with a group of people, family, organization. Could be one person in that group that is just like pulling on your energy. And it's like, I don't have any energy to give you. You're restricting me. The fool card is like, I want this new beginning. I'm going to get this new job. I'm going to build myself up. I don't have time for this competition. Leo probably thinks there is no competition. You can't be me. Every Leo that I know, <laughs> you can't be me. So you might as well go sit down somewhere. But there's definitely somebody that's pulling on you so much that with the four swords, I'm tired. I'm exhausted. I need to rest. I need to put barriers up. You are slowing me down. And it's because somebody is needy. Pay attention to me. Some of y'all, this could be definitely your child. This could be a partner that's like, you know, you got to, when they come in, you you, you got to pay it. You got to rub their feet. You got to cook them food. You know, you, you got to watch a TV show with them or whatever. And it's like, I got stuff to do. Now, of course, if this is your husband or your wife or whatever, that may be a part of it. But for some of you, um, it's like, I got shit to do. I got stuff that I need to handle and you slowed down or you felt like you were burdened by an energy and you made up your mind that I don't want to be burdened by this energy anymore because it's holding me back. So we see somebody wanting some type of praise or recognition, but with the four of wands, there's something where there's victory that comes in, but not necessarily for this needy person, even though I feel like that they want this. This could also be competition for a job or for uh, if this is somebody, you know, fighting for your attention. And I'm wondering, could it be the Knight of Swords and the Queen of Cups are fighting for your attention? Some of you, there's a competition with a job or being seen. Somebody wants to be um, like you or their ego makes them feel like they could be. Three of Wands, leadership. This could be a job, a promotion, in leadership position. King of Wands, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, leader, standing in their power, chariot, moving forward, willpower, victory, control. Whatever this energy is, you're walking away from it. I don't want to be overwhelmed. I don't want to carry you. I don't want to have to slow down to give you um, this attention i'm not paying attention to your tantrum first i think some of y'all were trying to pull away slowly and then eventually it's just like i'm moving on i'm out let's see uh power struggle you may be involved in a power struggle between two or more people resolve this is a period of indecision and inner conflict and it's time to make a decision could be the decision are we going to keep fighting we going to keep doing this or am i going to walk away some of y'all have been in this energy a power struggle for a while and i really I, i'm confused with it because if it's the same person this has been going on for years so maybe you're married to this person this person is in your family for some of you, I just feel like the energy is different and you keep choosing um, difficult relationships or difficult people. Um, 
I'm not sure why though. I feel like it goes back to childhood. Something in the background. All right, let's see. One more time, Spirit Leo. All right. Perception. You are getting ready to have a shift in perception that will change everything. So it's like make a decision, but you're seeing something clearly, which is good. Which means that for some of you, it's like I, I'm maybe I was looking at this differently and now I have to look at it clearly. Or maybe I was thinking I have to deal with this, but now I'm looking at it clearly. All right, so let's see. Let me pull. Let me get my nail out the way. Positive life change. You're choosing you. Positive life changes are ahead if you choose to trust the process. Maybe some of y'all were married to this person and you're realizing that I need to walk away from this and it could be that you have to make the decision. You have to look at things differently. Whatever it is changing, your perception leads you to a different course of life. Oh, self-love. You're choosing you. You're learning that your capacity to love others is directly related to your ability to love yourself. Oh, 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 -hoo. party ways. Yes, it may be time to move on from the person or situation. Amen. Ooh, shuck it duck. Shuck it duck. Some of y'all, it started off with the power struggle. Spirit is like, make the decision. Look at this clearly. This is the way you want to live your life. Maybe some of y'all, there is some type of issue that comes back from childhood, self-esteem. Maybe you're trying to mother everybody or take care of everybody and not everybody needs your energy. And I think some of you are going to realize that and that's where parting ways comes in. I got to let this shit go. You ain't for me. This ain't working. Time to move in a different direction. Focus on myself. Some of you with that self-love, you may really need to look into therapy. If we keep choosing people that become destructive in our lives, we have to ask ourselves why. Because at a certain point, we're opening that door up to that. And we can't blame them for, blame them for our procrastination or us not moving forward because we're so drained. They have drained us to the capacity that we can't even do for ourselves because you have the power to cut ties with that. Some of you, you're holding on to people way longer than what you need to. And it's been showing because you've been having this energy show up for years. Or you're taking care of people way longer than you need to take care of them. Or you're sacrificing yourself. And you're making your life harder. So you got to be really honest with yourself because it's showing you're cutting ties. You're walking into your leadership um, role. Like this is a new thing um, for 2025. I don't want this. I don't want, and that's part of the healing process is being honest with yourself. I don't want to have to carry you. I don't want to have to take care of you. I don't want to have to be the one always there. Because it's like, I cannot continue to let you feed off of me. Man, deep, Leo, deep. The lion is about to roar. Maybe the lion has roared before, but I think that this time you're like, okay, let's go ahead and cut ties. Let's, let's put this barrier up and be clear. You're going to be okay, Leo. You always are. You know, sometimes y'all make life a little bit harder on yourself, but I think the majority of y'all, y'all just kind of like you do what you need to do and you keep it moving. So, you know, focus on you because it looks like in 2025, the energy shifts more in your power. So get rid of the dead weight. For some of you, you really have to cut it. You have to part ways. All right, Leo. Love y'all.